An investigation is underway in Providence after police say a 21-year-old man was shot and killed while driving. This shooting is the second homicide in less than a week in the capital city. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke to one state official about the violent incident. He joins us live now in Providence with the details. Matt? Kayla, I spoke with the state representative for District 5 today who is emotional. She went on to say that the gun violence in our city needs to end. Another violent and tragic night for the capital city. After police say a 21 year old Providence man was shot while behind the wheel of his car. They say he was rushed to Rhode Island Hospital, where he later died, marking the eighth homicide this year and the second in less than a week. He was already shot when he drove down here and drove into that tree and fence. Flashing lights and police tape blocking off traffic to the area. As an investigation got underway, first on Hazel Street where the car was found, and then moving a few streets over to Phoebe Street. We have uh, followed this track back to Phoebe Street, uh, where we believe the shooting took place. We saw a uh, spent shell casing, so that kind of led us uh, to believe that's where it happened. For neighbors in the area, they were saddened to hear the news, but they say they weren't surprised. I'm terrified, uh, of course. Um, does it surprise me? Not really, because in the last couple of weeks, I have heard gunshots. For Marsha Ranglin Vassell, the state representative for District 5, she says it's senseless acts of violence like this that brought her into politics. I am broken by this. A young 21 year old who got shot and killed in 2016. That's why I ran for office. And for Ranglin Vassell, she says not only should this have never happened, but that it couldn't have happened at a worse time, as millions of Americans are spending the holiday celebrating the things that they're thankful for. This tragedy, I am sure, could have been prevented. I don't know why, but I know it was senseless. It's Thanksgiving. I am just going to say we've got to stop the violence. Police tell me they are not releasing the name of the victim at this time and that this case is currently under investigation. Reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.